Hello my sweet friends, welcome to another 30 minute yoga flow. I hope this will leave you feeling invigorated um, and also like you've practiced some really important self care and self love in these difficult and unprecedented times. So today you're going to need a cushion or a pillow, something that you're going to lie on at the end, so have something nearby. But to begin, we'll start lying down on our backs. So just come to find a comfortable laying position. Let your palms open up towards the ceiling with your hands and arms spread aside your body. And let your feet roll out and relax. And start to notice how your breath is today. Notice where your breath is in your body. And try to deepen your breath. Feel it drawing down into your tummy. And try to consciously expand your breath so that it's moving down into your hands and your legs. And with every exhale, come to release and relax down into the ground even more. Really pay attention to the parts of your body that are touching the ground and notice what the sensation feels like. Perhaps you're on soft carpet or a mat. How does it feel? Continue breathing like this, just observing and noticing. What sounds can you hear? Are there any sounds coming from your own body? Begin to notice the movement of breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Perhaps you can feel the cool sensation of breath around your nostrils. We'll begin to move by just taking a gentle stretch, pointing the toes away from you, really stretching out the feet. And inhale and sweep the arms overhead, extending the fingertips back behind you. And feeling a slight firmness through your abdominal muscles as you stretch out the spine. And on an exhale, release the arms back and allow the feet to relax. Inhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Take hold of the front of the knee with both hands and begin to wag the knee from side to side. Really pressing the lower back into the mat here. And taking up the glutes and the hips. And extend the right leg up so that the sole of the feet is pushing towards the ceiling. 
Take hold of the back of the thigh with both hands. You can clasp the fingers together here. And keep drawing the shoulders down towards the mat, relaxing the shoulders, extending the neck nice and long. You can pull the legs slightly towards you here, slightly towards the chest. Then again, point the toes of the right foot up towards the ceiling and then flex the foot. Once more, point the toes up and flex the foot. One more time, point and then flex. Then release the right leg down, bring the right sole of the foot to the mat. Pick up the left leg and cross the left ankle over the right knee. Probably touching just above the left ankle so that you're not pressing directly onto the ankle. And begin to draw the left knee away from your body. Pick up the right foot so that it's coming off the mat and draw the right knee in towards you. Here you can take hold of the back of the right thigh or you can reach and grab the front of the right knee, whatever feels best for you. Keep both feet flexed here and keep drawing the left knee away from you so that you can feel the stretch alongside the back of the left thigh and into the left glute. And notice how this feels. This is a position which can bring slight discomfort. And notice how you react to that. And I invite you to just stick with it. See if you can draw the right leg in a little further towards you. And then exhale, release the right leg. Stretch the right leg out and take hold of the left knee. Clasp the fingers around the front of the left knee and again, as we did on the right hand side, just begin to wave the left knee from side to side, just rolling in the joint. Extend the left leg up, point the sole of the foot so that it's stretching towards the ceiling. Take hold of the back of the left thigh, clasping the hands together around it, and pull the left leg in towards you as much as your flexibility will allow. Keep drawing the shoulders down towards the mat. Don't allow them to come up and be tense, just keep relaxing them down. If the leg has to be bent slightly, that's absolutely fine. Then begin to point and flex the left foot. And lower the left leg down and pick up the right foot. Cross the right ankle over the left knee again just above the ankle so that you're not pressing directly on the ankle. Open the right knee out to the side and pick up the left leg and again either grabbing behind the thigh or reaching through to grab the front of the left knee and pull the left leg in towards you. Keeping both feet flexed and active and continue to roll the right knee open away from you to feel that stretch down the back of the thigh and into the hip. Observing how this side feels. Drawing the left knee in and keep rolling the right knee out. And then exhale.
exhale and release both legs and come to hug both knees in towards you. Rock from side to side, giving your lower back a bit of a massage. Extend both legs long. And inhale to sweep the arms up overhead. And grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand. And begin to walk your feet over to the right hand side at the bottom of your mat. Then with your right arm, draw your left arm over to the right to create a big banana shaped bend in your body. Until you find the stretch all along the left hand side of the body. Keep drawing the left shoulder down towards the mat. And come back to centre and take hold of the other wrist and walk the feet over to the left hand side and draw the right wrist over to the left creating the banana going the other way. Come back to centre. And from here, take a deep inhale and as you do so, start to sweep the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet so that the soles of the feet are pointing up and draw the fingertips so that the palms are facing towards each other and the fingertips are stretching up towards the ceiling with the fingers separated apart. As you exhale, Keep the legs and arms straight and lower them back towards the mat. Inhale, come up. And exhale down. Two more times, inhale up. And exhale down. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can. Using your abdominal muscles to control the movement. And on this last time coming down, move as slowly as you can back towards the ground. Well done. Pick up your knees and cross over your ankles and take hold of the backs of the thighs and begin to rock here. Maybe three or four times, rolling through the spine until you come up to a seated position. And find your way over onto all fours. From here we'll move through our cat and cow position. So make sure the knees are underneath the hips and the palms are directly beneath the shoulders. Keep the fingertips spread wide and the shoelace side of the feet pushing down into the mat. And begin to move through that cat cow position. Inhaling to come up into the alley and cat and exhaling, releasing, chin up. And come back to neutral. Pick up the right leg and extend it behind you in a straight line. Really push through the heels to flex the foot, keep it engaged and active. Then extend the left arm up in front of you so the fingertips are pointing straight ahead. Take the arm and the leg out on a diagonal like the blades of a helicopter and keep pushing the right foot back to keep the leg engaged. Then come all the way back to the centre and from here draw the left elbow and right knee together to crunch underneath the body. And back extend and then crunch in. Back and extend. Final time crunch in and then release the arm and the leg. Now pick up the left leg. Again push through the left heel so that the left leg is activated and sweep the right fingertips up towards the front. 
Try to keep the pelvis and the core level here. Really lift the belly button up towards the spine. And then sweep the arm and the leg out on a diagonal line. Keeping the left heel activated and engaged. Draw the arm and the leg back to the centre and then repeat those punches, elbows coming to knee. Once, twice, moving with the breath, and final time. Well done. Then open the knees wide and sink the weight back through the hips, come down into child's pose. Melt the heart down towards the mat and allow the forehead to relax. Maybe roll the forehead from side to side to massage the forehead a little deeper. And inhale, come back up to all fours. Bring the knees in so that they're directly beneath the hips. Then lower the head down onto the mat. Roll onto the top of the head. Extend the arms behind you and clasp the fingers together. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and extend the arms up above you into rabbit. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together and drawing them away from your ears. Keep pushing the palms of your hands together as you clasp your fingers here. And you can keep your arms up or if you want to stabilise your head, you can bring your hands either side of your head. Begin to massage the top of the head here and notice for any points where it might feel a bit tender or sore. Any points of heaviness where the brain has been so active that it's needing a little bit of attention to release. And this is really personal to you, this is completely intuitive, so just have a play around and see if there's any areas of tightness that you can find that you want to work on. And if you find a particularly painful spot, then really direct the breath into it. had enough, gently come back up to a kneeling position. And here, if it's more comfortable to sit on a cushion, then just grab one and pop it between your legs, or you can sit back directly on your heels, it's completely up to you. So inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, open the arms up to a T and twist around to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, twist and open the arms to the left. Once more time on each side. Exhale, twist open and stretch the right fingertips all the way behind you. Then inhale, sweep up. And exhale, open to the left. And come back to the centre. Get rid of your cushion if you've got one underneath your bum and then come forward, find downward facing dog. So tuck the toes underneath, begin to peel the knees off the mat and zoom the tailbone up and back towards the ceiling, towards the corner of the room. Here push down firmly through your hands, back up some buoyancy in the elbows. Draw the shoulder blades together and away from the ears. Bend your knees to straighten out your back and stretch through the back, one straight line. Then let the heels be heavy and paddle out the feet. On an inhale, sweep the right leg up and bend the right knee. Open the right knee up and out to the right as if you're trying to point the right knee up towards the ceiling, but try to keep the chest square to the mat. From here, draw big circles with the knee. 
coming forward three times and then back, rotating in the opposite direction. Remember to keep breathing and extend the leg up behind you and exhale, release it down. Come into child's pose for a breath to recover. And then come back up into downward dog. Paddle out the feet. And on the inhale, sweep the left leg up high, bend the knee, open the left knee out towards the side as if you're pointing it up towards the ceiling. Keep squaring the chest towards the front and take big circles with the left knee. Three in each direction, moving with the breath. Then the left leg up and release the left leg down. Walk your hands to the front of the mat and hang down over the legs. Take hold of opposite elbows and release. Swing from side to side. You can have a soft bend in your knees here. Release the hands down. Begin to peel up gently through the spine until you come to standing. Bring the palms together at your chest. Inhale and sweep the arms up. Palms meet above your head. Look up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, come forward to a flat back. And exhale, step the right foot back. Come up onto the right tiptoes. Inhale, sweep the arms up into high lunge. Exhale, feet, hands come forward to frame the front foot. Step the front foot back, come into plank. Then move down through knees, chest, chin. Keeping the bum high, pulling forward into low cobra. Push back through all fours and come up into downward facing dog. Take a couple of deep breaths here, paddling through the feet. Then step the feet forward to the hands. And peel up slowly through the spine. again on this side. So inhale, sweep the arms up, palms meet, look up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, come forward to a flat back. And exhale, step the left foot back, stay up on the left tiptoes. Inhale, come up into high lunge. And exhale, fold forward, framing the front foot. Step back into high plank. Either come through knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, squeezing the shoulders, squeezing the elbows in, pulling forwards into low cobra or upwards facing dog, and then pushing back into downwards facing dog. Take a few more deep breaths here, in through the nose, and out through the nose. And this time, walk the hands back towards the feet. Fold forward over the legs and then peel up slowly. Inhale, arms wide, palms meet. And exhale, down, palms to the chest. Inhale, palms meet above you, look up. And exhale. Fold forward, 
and then walk the hands forward to come in tight plank. From here, bring your knees, chest, chin down to the ground and move forwards into low cobra. Then push up to all fours. From here, step the right foot forward so that it comes to the outside of the right foot. You can come up onto your fingertips here. You want to have a straight spine, so make sure that you're not rounding just to get your hands to the ground. Come up, there's no pressure to get to any particular height. If you need to grab your cushion to have something to rest on, then you can do that too. Just massage into this movement here. Feeling into the hips and the groin, noticing any areas of tightness. Inhale and sweep the right hand up, point the right fingertips towards the sky. Keep drawing the right shoulder away from the ears and keep leaning the weight forward into your hip. You can tuck the right hand back towards your left hip if that feels good. Keep opening the chest, rotating the chest up to the right hand side. And inhale, sweep the arm up and exhale. Bring the right hand back down on the inside of the right foot. And slide the right leg back and take the left leg forwards to the outside of the left foot. Again, you can be on your palms here or you can come up to your fingertips or be on your cushion, whatever is good. And again, rocking into the hip and the groin here. Just noticing what sensation that presents for you, whether it feels tight or a bit sore, just notice. And keep moving with the breath. Then on a deep inhale, sweep the left fingertips up with the twist open to the left. Keep drawing the weight forwards in your hips. Drawing the chest open up towards the ceiling and stretching the left fingertips high. And exhale, bring the left hand back down. This time, come up onto your right tiptoes and on an inhale, step the right foot forward to come into the squat position. If you can't get your heels on the floor, then you can be on your tiptoes here, or you can take your cushion and another cushion and place them under your heels. Keep pushing your knees open with your elbows here and try to broaden your chest forwards in front of you, opening the chest. And release the palms down in front of you and bend forward, bring the crown of the head to face the mat. Heel toes are feet in so that they're about hip width. Then fold over the knees, really bend the knees and release the head down to hand, release the hand. And see if you can gracefully come up onto your tiptoes and <laughs> slide effortlessly down onto your bum. <laughs> From here, take the right leg and cross the right leg in front of you so that the knee is pointing right ahead. Give yourself enough space to be able to sit on your sitting bones. Then take the left leg and find wherever is comfortable here. So for some of you, maybe putting the left sole of the foot just on the outside of the right knee. Perhaps some of you might begin to cross the legs and then maybe others will completely bring the left foot over and begin to stack the two knees one on top of the other. If you're stacking the knees, make sure that both your sitting bones are connecting with the mat. To find our face pose here. You should feel the stretch quite intensely on the outside of both hips. Broadening the chest open, heart pouring forwards. And then you might begin to walk the hands forwards 
Perhaps staying up on the fingertips or coming down onto the palms, really whatever feels good. And begin to fold over your knees. Keep breathing deeply here. Then come back up and switch legs. So this time, left leg crosses over below, right leg comes across and either bringing the right sole of the foot to the outside of the left knee or beginning to cross the legs or stacking so that the knees are on top of each other. Have both sitting bones connecting down to the ground. Both feet are flexed here. And keep broadening the chest open. And begin to walk the hands forwards, coming up onto the tiptoes or releasing the palms down to the mat, the floor. Keep drawing your weight back into your hips down into the sitting bones and then come back up release both the legs stretch them out in front of you take hold of your cushion and come to lie down on the mat now place the cushion underneath your bum you might want to fold it to make it a little bit higher whatever feels good and then raise both the legs up into a waterfall supported waterfall so the cushion should be right underneath your sacrum here allow the soles of the feet to point up towards the ceiling and encourage the shoulders and the whole of the back to release down into the mat open the palms up bend the knees and gently place the feet down on the mat, release the cushion and find your Shavasana. Opening the palms out, allowing the feet to be relaxed. Beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes and coming back over onto your right hand side and coming up to a seated position. Press your palms down onto your legs. and thank yourself for your practice. Namaste everyone.